All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukhsak Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, so, as you can see here, all right, there's another article, which I did a video yesterday, all right, but there's another article on uh, the, uh, the economic collapse. All right, and hey, boom, it says it right there in the title. Okay, it says what? U.S. economy about to collapse. And have we not been saying that? Okay, so it says, taking down dollar and American standard of living, Peter Schiff. All right, and that 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 that's something that a lot of quote unquote Americans are gonna uh, realize that the hard way. All right, when their lives are completely changed and they go from a hundred to zero real quick. All right, and they they realize the hardships of actually having to live, actually having to get your hands dirty. You see. A lot of people in America get things handed to them on a silver platter. You know, you get to go to work. You know, you get you, 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 your supermarkets are some of them are open 24 seven. You know, you can always go buy food or whatever you want. But when that economy collapses, best believe the way things function now is not going to be the same. All right. And there's going to be a point in time where there's going to be a total state of, state of chaos. All right. So let me keep reading. It says. Today's uh, Tuesday's U.S. stock plunge following a stock here. So it says uh, Tuesday's U.S. stock plunge uh, following a massive sell-off on global markets is seen by some analysts as a sign of more bad things to come. RT talked to veteran stockbroker Peter Schiff to explore the issue in, in depth. Um, after the dramatic early drop, U.S. stocks recovered but finished lower after a wild day on Wall Street. And notice how this is more and more common now. By the closing bell, the Dow was down 126 points, or 0.5%, recovering most of its early losses. The NASDAQ closed down 0.4%, while the S&P 500 shed 15 points, uh, finishing 0.6% lower. According to, according to Schiff, who uh, currently serves as the CEO of Euro Pacific Capital, the stock market is definitely looking like it's headed for another bear market. So he says, all the signs are already there. Look at what's happening out there. The stock market is falling. 40% of the S&P is already in a bear market. Look at home builders, the housing stocks, the financials, the retailers. All these are the same, are the same things that were happening in 2007, uh, seven, leading to the crisis, the, uh, the strategist. Or strategist told RT America, all right. It says uh, the account, and this this isn't anything special, man. This is just if anybody with common sense will be able to see this, all right. But <laughs> now, then again, man, you have those who are just ignorant and they don't even know that this is going on. And when you tell them, they just don't care. The 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 economists urge people to be prepared for not only an economic crisis but a political crisis as well with the current administration likely to take the blame. According to Schiff, uh, Schiff the U.S. Uh, national currency is set to meet with wor with the worst losses. So, you've got to, so what you've got to do is get out of U.S. dollar assets. The dollar is going to be the biggest casualty along with the American standard of living, he said, adding that foreign stock markets, especially emerging markets, currently depressed by the, the strong dollar, will see a strong rise. They're going to see a boom when the dollar weakens, Schiff said. Look at the price of gold up another eight bucks, but it's still about 1,230. Gold's going to new heights. It was at 1,900 in 2011. Um, it's going to go much higher this time, the analyst added. According to the economist, the US household debt is about 15 trillion, right? <laughs> it represents a cruise issue for the standard of living in, in the country. Everybody is loaded up with debt and it's not like we began this monetary experiment without much debt. We had a lot of debt in twenty in 2008. In fact, the financial crisis was about debt. It was a it was about our inability to pay the debt that we had. Now now what do you how much worse do you think it's gonna be now that they that the US is in more debt and it's damn near impossible to pay it back. Alright? And guess what, man? Those elites, man, they're going to come for their money. They're going to come collect their debt. He says, but instead of addressing the problem and allowing debt to be paid down, the Federal Reserve let us down the uh, 
Prime rose path into much deeper debt by keeping interest rates at zero and holding them for so long. The Federal Reserve actually encouraged an overly indebted nation to borrow even more money. See? Because it's what? It's, it's purposely set up to crash the economy. It says the experts stress that interest rates uh, hikes would only worsen the current situation as all the facets of American society are at leverage to, to the hilt, including individuals, corporations, and federal the federal government, state, and local governments. So everybody's loaded up with debt, and guess what? Interest rates are now finally rising, and that means the cost of servicing that debt is going up. And this is going to be a problem, just like adjustable rate mortgage uh, was a big problem in 2008. When these things were resetting, he said, people couldn't afford to pay. Well, the same thing is going to happen on a national scale. Rates are going up and we too and we too broke to pay. All right. So, hey, that's what's coming. Man. Look, big change in the rules of the game to, uh, to come soon. America is done, man. America is done. And the day this dollar collapses, man, the, the, man this is going to be one of the happiest days of our lives. So it says, uh, according to Schiff, there's no other way. Or there's no way to avoid the chaos and normalize things. It's impossible because, in fact, we kept it going so long that collapse is going to be much bigger. And sooner sooner we face the reality, the better. But no politician wants to face that reality. They want to pretend everything is great. And he's keeping it real. He's keeping it real because he knows that that's what's coming, man. It's too late. Like he said, there's no way to avoid the chaos. All right? It's going to happen, man. And that's why the scriptures talk about Jacob's trouble. All right. It says the tax cut. And you, you got people here. Don't, man, uh, uh, Jacob just just gone, man. Just ignorant. All right. Their, their eyes are closed. It says the tax cut pushed by the U.S. President Donald Trump is also set to worsen the current concerns about stocks, the economy, and living standard, according to Schiff. If the government is collecting less revenue, then the deficits are getting bigger. And so the government has to borrow even more money. And that becomes an even bigger problem. See, America is working on borrowed money. All right. Borrowed money. So when the lender decides that he wants to get their money back. All right. And not lend anymore. What do you think is going to happen? All right. He said, well, what we need is a smaller government, but nobody wants to shrink government, including Donald Trump, who is now the defender of Social Security and Medicare. He wants to launch another nuclear arms race and start the space race. So it's all about spending more money. So Trump wants to spend more money and cut taxes at the same time. That's completely reckless. Exactly. All right. And it's going to get to the point, man, because guess what, man? All this money uh, pulling out of the INF and, and, and trying to increase your, your nuclear weapons and all these different things that he's trying to do on borrowed money is going to all backfire. All right. And when this economy collapse, and it's a when, we all we keep saying it, man. It's a when. All right, you, 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 Israelites, especially, man, you're gonna see real hell. You're gonna see what hell is like, man. So, lower on this video is at a final to be a light. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechak Till next time, Shalom.